A beautiful Linux laptop packed with the latest hardware and fully optimized drivers for maximum performance is no longer just the wishful thinking of the Linux master race. There is now a handful of companies that do an amazing job delivering a great selection of laptops running Linux quote-unquote natively. Consumer computing is the only market Linux hasn't taken over, but the need for competition in this space is dire. Hopefully that will change soon, and if I can do something to make it happen, then reviewing Linux laptops is the least I can do to help them become more popular. This is Lemur Pro, an ultrabook-style laptop by System76, a US-based company solely focused on creating beautiful Linux computers and laptops. Lemur Pro boasts with a modern design, extremely portable and lightweight form factor weighing just 2.4 pounds, and 14 hours of battery life. It comes with System76 signature PopOS Linux distribution featuring beautifully rebranded GNOME 3 desktop environment. Thanks to my generous patrons, this review is 100% independent and I'm not sponsored to say anything about this laptop. If you're new to Linux, stay tuned because you will see what an excellent job System76 has done with Lemur Pro and GNOME to introduce this beautiful Linux laptop to the mainstream non-tech savvy user. Before I got my hands on Lemur Pro, I got to customize its configuration straight from System76 online store. I prefer purchasing straight from manufacturers instead of resellers, but usually that experience is clunky. With System76, everything was top-notch. Their machines are actually assembled by the company in the United States instead of sweatshops in China. The individual components are still manufactured in China, but hey, that's the free trade deals for you. I went for the quad-core 10th gen Intel CPU, 24 gigs of RAM and 1 terabyte SSD storage. You can go higher or lower spec with this, with the starting price setting roughly at $1000. There is no dedicated graphics card with this model as I prioritize the battery life and extreme portability over graphics performance. System76 currently lists models with up to RTX 2080 GPUs if you are into that kind of stuff. Two things you need to know about before we move on with the review. System76 is using Core Boot firmware on their machines. This is rare but important. Coreboot is a mostly open source version of proprietary BIOS or EUFI found in most computers. Coreboot is designed to be lightweight and minimalist, only performing the necessary tasks needed to run the operating system and nothing else, which minimizes the attack surface or potential backdoor access. Another major boost in security is disabled Intel Management Engine. Intel ME is a CPU component that kinda works on its own. Its existence has been questioned by many security experts. Intel ME isn't necessary for a computer to function, yet it can access your files, keystrokes, and has its own network access that can't be disabled from your operating system settings. Most people are not gonna be able to remove or disable this component without risking they break their machines. I actually have a video on this if you want to know more about Intel ME. It is very welcome System76 ships their laptops with the ME disabled. And as a bonus, with System76 you get a lifetime support for your machine from real experts and no robots. When was the last time you got support from your overpriced Windows machine? That's what I get for working at Microsoft. So I got the box. I was excited. I was ready for some unboxing experience. It's actually producing dimethyltryptamine. That's it? Well, seems like that's it. I mean, I don't hate it or anything. I was just expecting something super fancy and expensive for no reason. Like in all those overpriced flagship models people are losing their minds over. This is definitely more cost effective and environmentally friendly. The box is filled with some stickers and merch, good marketing I guess. While my first impressions with the box aren't out of this world, my impressions with the laptop are just… damn. This is way fancier than anything I'd ever thought I could afford. This toy is so light I can barely even feel it with my pathetic little chicken hands. Weighing just over 1 kilo is pretty much nothing in my 20 liter backpack. The build quality looks flawless, and it feels flawless too. There is no flex even in the central parts of the keyboard which always seem to be the Achilles heel of ultra light and ultra thin laptops. The keyboard is perfect, I type a lot, thousands of words every week, and I do a lot of research, so I know a good keyboard when I see one. And this one is smooth, backlights are dimmable and very bright, and the sounds of the keystrokes are just pleasing to my ears. Touchpad is great. There are no fancy gestures on Linux, but I never missed them in the first place. I prefer to use a mouse, but I'm also happy with the touchpad, which is adequately responsive and feels really nice under my fingers. The monitor has a 180 degree hinge. 
Now look at that beauty. I can always get a viewing angles I want. The bezels are pretty nice and the case is quite thin too. Brightness is really high and I only wish I could dim it just a bit more but that's okay. The display is 14 inch full HD 1920 by 1080 with up to 120Hz refresh rate. You can also plug in an external monitor via a full size HDMI or power delivery USB-C port through which you can also charge things. Two USB ports, a micro SD slot, power delivery for the charger and a headphone jack is pretty much all you need from a laptop this size. The only issue I have is with the placement of the power button which is on the side and can be accidentally pressed in, in your backpack, which you may notice only after your overheated lemur melts chocolate all over the insides of your backpack, which I think is something that can only happen to me, so you might be safe. The power adapter is really light and compact, way smaller than my Asus charger. I love this combination with a small laptop, especially for travels and when on the go. I can take this anywhere, do some research, work on a script, or just watch some movies and not having to worry about the battery. The initial setup is pretty simple, self-explanatory and very user-friendly. Linux may sound scary to non-technical people, but this is the simplest setup you can find on a laptop. You just set up your account, select your region, language and all that good stuff. You'll have to go through a couple of system and firmware updates and reboot to apply them, but that's a standard procedure for all operating systems. If you know how to update your Windows or Mac, you'll find updating Linux is even easier. One of the main advantages of buying a Linux laptop instead of installing Linux yourself on a Windows PC or a Mac is that you don't have to ever worry about optimizing your hardware and drivers. It all works out of the box and I love it. I've been using Lemur Pro for over a month now and here are my thoughts on the daily use. I tested the battery life, which System76 claims to be 14 hours. I found you can get more or less depending on what you do, obviously. In my test, I looped two Full HD videos and set 50% display and keyboard backlight's brightness. And I also kept the Wi-Fi on. The laptop tapped out at almost 13 hours and 20 minutes. I find this really impressive because normally I would dim keyboard lights completely as they are a distraction when watching films. And if I want to save even more power, I ditch Wi-Fi too. When I work in my research or write scripts, I can easily get a full day work done and still have some space air battery left for the evening. It takes about 2.5 hours to recharge it. System76 provides a widget to toggle between different power usage modes from the safest battery life through a balanced mode to high performance. Now I've been using Linux for a long time. I've jumped through a lot of distributions including PopOS, so I'm not new to this. But I can tell you, PopOS is among the most general user ready distro out there. I love its GNOME adaptation for being very intuitive and out of the way. GNOME is my favorite desktop environment, although I never just use the default setup because I find there to be way too much to get in used to. System76 realizes this and makes GNOME even more user friendly. GNOME has a very polished way of managing your workflow. There is the dash on the left side where you can place your favorite apps. In the center you have your current windows which you can shuffle around into different workspaces that are dynamically displayed on the right. And I really love how GNOME went about this because I can easily separate work from communication or entertainment without cluttering my flow. There is an app drawer with the list of the most recently used apps as well as all the programs on your system. You can launch any app by pressing the super key and typing the name of the app which will immediately begin listing your apps. Or you can use my favorite keyboard shortcut super plus forward slash which will bring up an app launcher. You can use this to launch a new app or shuffle between your current windows. There's plenty of other keyboard shortcuts, all of which are customizable and make your life easier. Most Linux distros have a convenient software repository from where you can install most popular apps and PopOS is no exception. You can find popular apps for messaging, office work, multimedia and plenty of other ones neatly organized into categories. I can't recommend Linux highly enough. With Lemur Pro, switching to Linux has never been easier and more welcoming. It's great to see companies with a business model based on open source software. It gives me hope that we don't have to all succumb to the corporate behemoths fighting over who gets to rule the entire internet. I produce this content free for all with the hopes it will reach as many people as possible and make a dent in the dystopian trends we are all drowning in. If you like what I do, help me stay afloat with the engagement, join my channel or support me on Patreon. Thank you.